uh, relay for life uh, there and we're joined in studio now just to give you a heads up on it because it's a really growing movement I guess um, of uh, awareness and kind of witness to people um, who have cancer or who've had cancer um, who've lost people um, because of cancer um, and I'm joined in studio actually by Nicola Doyle who's the first person who ever told me about Relay for Life at Good Duckins morning, Grove. Too. Good morning Nicola and it was all in to do with your dad Jimmy and you just lost him. That's right that our dad had been diagnosed with cancer in December of 2009 and he passed away in April 2010 and 2010 was the first year that Relay um, happened in Carlo and in 2011 we got involved in it as a family because we wanted to commemorate his life and celebrate his life really and um, we put a team together as a family and then off the back of that we had such a great time that my sister Magella and I got involved in the committee and we've been committed ever since I suppose. Committed to the committee <laughs> and, there's yes. mo- and there's more of it. There is. It's yeah. amazing what's going on around the country like it makes you feel very positive. It is, it? it's phenomenal. Yeah. I mean the whole thing about cancer is it can be very negative when people hear the words but you know from our point of view we want to give people an idea of hope you know we want to let them know that there are survivors out there and the more people who hear stories of survivors you know it gives everybody an idea that look at there's support services out there for family members and it's it's very important that we spread the word you know it's not necessarily just about fundraising but it's given people the information of services that are provided for families and you know for people that are going through the disease and for you Jared. Um, yeah, your involvement. My involvement came about. Uh, yeah, one. Of my involvement came about. A friend and colleague of mine was diagnosed with cancer some years ago and uh, had successful treatment. And he came up with a while watching you and McGregor's trip around the world on a motorbike. He came up with a great idea that uh, he would like to do a camper van trip around Europe. And it was a big logistical exercise to six drivers 27 countries 24 and a half days 11 ferry crossings and we talked about that at the time it It was crazy fantastic experience I I thoroughly enjoyed it Uh, I love a bit of mischief I love a challenge Um, but because of the the logistical element of that um, and the logistical element obviously of running an event like Relay the Cancer Society approached us and asked us would we be interested in bringing Relay to Carlo at the time there had been one Relay and that was in Dundalk and so we were we were the second relay in the country and really? we said so yeah. it's, it's that recent yes yeah. 2010 our relay in Carlo in 2010 was the second relay in the country so we're now heading for our fifth relay this year and um, it's a recent concept to Ireland it's an American concept and there's one in Kilkenny of course there's one in Kilkenny as well there have been to date uh, third level colleges are adopting the idea they love the concept mm. UCD have had their second that's right yeah um, college surgeons Trinity College have had their second, UCC have had their second, and NUI Maynooth had their first. All gone and done and dusted this year already. And there are another eight events still to happen across the country. So you're the 14th, 15th of uh, of June. 14th, 15th of June. Father's Coming Day up. Weekend. Yes. Still Duckett's Grove. Still Duckett's Grove. We Wonderful are venue. blessed yeah. to have an amazing venue. I have to say it's it's just fantastic. You know, the atmosphere that's out there, especially during the Candle of Hope ceremony, which happens on the, sa- the Saturday night, is just very special. You know, that really it's impossible to recreate anywhere else. You know, it's a, it's a walled garden. It's a beautiful, beautiful venue. <gasps> So, message to people this morning then? Message to people this morning is Relay for Life. It's a very much a family orientated event. Um, it is a solemn event at times, but we try to emphasise the fun side of things mm. and to get people together and create a support system and a family system for people um, to not only give them information, but to let them know, you know, what's available to them. It's a great opportunity to meet other survivors and people who are in the same situation as yourself to just sit down and have a chat with people. And, and are you looking for teams like Josephine was? We certainly are. Yeah. You know, even at the, the last minute, we'll accept teams on board. Yeah. Um, 
and we're also looking for survivors. Survivors are our VIPs on the day and our That's event nice. actually opens with survivors, um, our survivors lap. Last year we were very blessed to have just over 100 survivors and we are hoping to have, you know, that if not more again this year. Mm-hmm. Um, our survivors open the ceremony wearing their purple t-shirts very, very proudly and it's just a phenomenal vision to see and it's, it, it I mean, probably one of the most touching parts of the survivors lap is to see all age groups of people, you know, unfortunately, yeah. who've been touched by cancer, but who are there, you know, and participating and, you know, they absolutely love it. So we would invite anybody to come along and, you know, participate with us. At what time does it start? It starts at 5 p.m. on the Saturday evening, the 14th, and finishes 5 p.m. Sunday evening. Goes right, goes yeah. right through. Through the 24 hours and it's there's entertainment. It's a marathon. Absolutely yeah. it is. And, and the entertainment goes on for the whole 24 hours, you know. The, and a, overnight is really moving when it, when it gets dark. It is. It's beautiful. At the Candle of Hope ceremony yeah. last year, we had uh, luminaries lit around the track and and we had um, about 6,000 candle bags, which are dedicated to people who have been lost to cancer or who are fighting cancer. And it's a very, very special moment to be there. All right, Ger, final word to you. Um, I think the, the event the event in itself, uh, it, it's very, very important for cancer survivors, carers of people who have had cancer. Mm. It gives them an opportunity to come together, celebrate, yeah. but also um, it's a place for people to come if they have concerns or maybe they've had a recent diagnosis they can come and find out and meet other people who have been in the same situation as them and it's it's about it's about celebrate remember fight back is the motto it's about more birthdays and it's about a community a community fighting back for its community uh, to raise awareness and also there's a fundraising element to the event as well all right listen thank you both very much